Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and run the Meta Llama 3.1 model on your Windows machine. A quick and easy way to do this is to install the Olama tool for Windows. This is also available for Mac OS and Linux. But here we can go to the olama.com webpage, press on download. There's the Windows version, so let's press there to download it. It's a 600 megabyte setup. Once the download is finished, we can just double click the Olama setup file and the installation will start. Let's press on install and it's running the installation. Olama doesn't have a lot of uh, documentation on the olama.com webpage, but if you go to GitHub, uh, in here you will have the README, which does explain some parts here, but actually <clears throat> there will be more if you go under docs and in here you can find the windows.md um, readme for the Olama application. So here you will have some more information on running it on Windows. So here you actually have the main points to know. So Olama after the installation, it will run in the background and you will be able to access it via command line, PowerShell, and the Olama API is served on this address. So we can see that Olama is running here. We can access the logs and we can shut it down. But we actually need to open PowerShell to, to access Olama. So I prefer to use Windows PowerShell, but you could use the Windows Terminal as well. And if you give the command Olama, it will give us a list of the commands we can use. The README shows under Quick Start that we can run the command Olama run Llama 3.1. Let's copy that into PowerShell and it will download the model. So this Llama 3.1, it's the 8 billion parameter model and the size is 4.6, uh, sorry, 4.7 gigabytes. So downloading that will take a moment. But here in the quick start guide, we can also see the, in, under the model library, we can see a lot of other open models we can run and we can also access the olama.com library. And here we have some additional information about those. So for example, if you want to try Mistral, we can see here is the Olama run Mistral command to download the 7 billion parameter version. And we have also Mistral large available. And I think for the Llama 3.1, we have the 70 billion and 405 billion parameter models. But these 405 billion parameters, this is like super, super big. The download will be 230 gigabytes and you will need uh, strong GPU to, to run that. Here in the quick start guide it does kind of give you some general advice that you should have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM available to run the 7 billion parameter models and 16 gigabytes to run the <coughs> 13 billion parameter models and 32 gigabytes to run the 33 billion parameter models. But for example this machine is a laptop and it has a GeForce RTX 3050 laptop GPU and it has only 4 gigabytes of dedicated VRAM. The machine has a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM, so it has also some shared GPU memory available and it is able to run that model. So let's see how it performs. Okay, so we see that it has finished downloading and we can. We can, for example, with the slash show info command, check that which model it is. And it is the Llama 8B model. And we could now send a chat message to it, like ask it, what are you? And it will generate a response. And it's not super fast if you're used to the online chat GPT type interfaces, but this is totally local. And if you have a higher power 
GPU, it will run faster. So we can see it used up all the <coughs> dedicated GPU memory for running this. And I think, uh, yeah, memory is the, the biggest bottleneck here. So in the Olama Windows preview readme page, it does say that Olama has the API in this address. If you go to that address, it will just say Olama is running and the it's not the web UI if you were expecting that, but you can install separately a web UI which uses this API, API if you want to. And um, Olama has more documentation on the API here but I'll show you in a later video on, on how to install a web UI. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.